Peace and blessings, Shabbat Shalom. It's Mark the Messenger. We're back in another video. This one's going to be about 11 signs of the ungodly woman, the woman that God tells you to avoid. I have so many times I have brothers hitting me up, you know, Mark, is this woman for me? Should I marry her? What should I do? I'm not a dating coach. I don't know her. So I'm, this video could definitely answer your questions if she's on this trade. Now, if you are a woman and you're on this trade, instead of you getting mad, use that energy to change. Use that energy to repent and to become the woman that God calls you to be, okay? So these are the 11 signs that um, a woman's ungodly. You should avoid her because she's going to take you down to the grave. You don't believe me? Let's see what this Bible verse says. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 26. And I find more bitter than death. The woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bands. Whoso please God shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. Okay. The disobedient. Okay. The one who hears, who, who sees the signs that God's showing him that this woman's going to lead him to the grave. She's going to get you, you know, killed. Okay. She, when you see the signs, you ignore it because, you know, she's giving you a little bit of, you know, sex or whatever the case may be or whatever. She's giving you something and you're still ignoring the signs. Okay. The sinner, it will be taken by her. The sinner will be destroyed by her. But whoever uh, pleases God, whoever, you know, repents, prays and asks God for forgiveness, uh, starts doing some fasting, isolates himself to get closer to God, those people will be delivered by her. So let's get it. Let's go. These are 11 signs of the ungodly woman. Number one, she wears the attire of a harlot. She wears the attire of a prostitute. Okay, this is in Proverbs chapter 7, verse 10. So it says that, and behold, there he met him with a woman with the attire of a, of a harlot. She has a subtle of heart. Okay, so the Bible says that women are supposed to dress modest superior. So if you see a, a, a woman who's always showing her body off, uh, not just in real life on social media, she's always just revealing her body. That is a red flag. Okay, because especially if she, especially if that's your girlfriend or your wife, because she's that's body is only supposed to be for you. It ain't supposed to be for everyone else to see, but women love attention. The ungodly woman, they love attention from the outside. And you cannot build your kingdom with a woman who likes attention from the village. Okay. You can't, it, it will never work. Okay. So if she's out here showing her body off and she, and a woman who has a Holy spirit before, when she's wearing clothes, it's going to convict her of it. So she's not getting convicted of her showing, you know, showing her behind, showing her breasts or, you know, some of these women nowadays, guys, they'd be showing the whole thing. They just be covering up down there. You know, they even be showing the nipples, which is crazy. That type of woman has no fear of God in her. That type of woman does not have the Holy Spirit. So that type of woman is going to be used by the devil to destroy you. Okay. And woman got to be very careful because they are the weaker vessels, according to the scriptures, according to 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 7. Whenever I bring this to the light, you get so much woman in the comment section mad. And it just comes to show that you guys hate the truth. Okay. The ungodly woman hates the truth. Because I'm going to leave a Bible verse right there. The woman is the weaker vessel. So what does that mean? That means Satan could easily work through her to destroy uh, man, just like how he worked through Eve to get to Adam. This The devil knew he couldn't get to Adam. So he had to use someone who was weak. He had to use Eve. Okay. Number two. She pretends to be religious. Yes. A lot of people talk about the Jezebel spirit, right? And they think it's just like a worldly woman. Yes, a, a, a worldly woman can be a Jezebel. But best believe Jezebel is in the church. She's disguising herself as a prophetess. She's disguising herself as a pastor. Um, she's in the church. And see, the reason why Jezebel likes to be, pretends to be religious is because she wants to appear to be righteous. She wants to believe in her delusional mind that she's righteous and that she's of the light. Okay, this is in uh, Revelation chapter 2, verse 20. So it says, Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because I suffered that woman Jezebel, which called herself a prophetess, to teach and seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat the things sacrificed unto idols. Okay, so it says, She called herself a prophetess. So that means she claims to be of God. She claims to be, you know, religious. So she, she disguises herself. You know, even the Bible says that even the devil disguises himself as an angel of light. So his agents, his children, Okay, those demons, they're going to disguise themselves as a light too. So just because someone's calling themselves a Christian, that's why I always tell you guys, if someone calls himself a Christian, like that's cool and all, but the Bible says over and over again to test someone's spirits because just because someone's just calling themselves a Christian, it doesn't really mean much if their actions, if their fruits are not backing up with their words. Okay, so don't be deceived out here. Number three, and also how can you discern between a godly woman and an ungodly woman? Discernment, that's what it's all about. The discernment comes through having the Holy Spirit. Number three, is she is not sober minded. Okay. So the ungodly woman goes out every weekend or, or every day getting high, getting drunk. And like I said earlier, the woman is a weaker vessel. So the devil could easily work through her. She's not, you know, now we all make mistakes, but if she's living a life of, you know, willful sin, you know, always getting high, always getting drunk, and she has no need of repentance, no guilt, no shame, 
you know, that's someone that's very dangerous. Okay, so this is in Titus chapter 2, verse 4. So it says that, that they may teach the young woman to be sober and to love their husbands and to love their children. Okay, so to be sober because... Now, of course, this applies to men and women, but if especially a woman, it's very dangerous if she's opening doors or getting drunk all the time, getting high, doing drugs, stuff like that. The devil could easily work through her to attack her husband, to attack her children, uh, to attack her family, her loved ones. Okay, so that's the number one the sign, guys, of an ungodly woman. Always, never, never sober-minded. Number four. Ooh, <laughs> yup. She hates. My marker is about to die. She hates God's preachers, okay? Yes, she hates, she despises the prophets, the messengers, the apostles, the pastors. She hates, okay? This is the one, uh, one, uh, the book of Kings chapter one, or the, the book of first Kings chapter 19, verse two. Then Jezebel sent a messenger unto Elijah saying, so let the gods do good to me and more also, if I make not that life as a life to one of them by tomorrow about this time. So Jezebel tried to kill, remember the one who claimed to be religious. She tried to kill the prophets uh, and the messengers because she tried to kill God's people. So the ungodly woman hates the godly man because the ungodly woman knows that the godly man is above her. Okay, it's all order. And she hates that. She wants to be God. That's like when, when Eve made the deal with the devil that she'll be like God, she'll be worshiped. She wanted to be like above the man. She wanted to be the head. She wanted to be the leader. Okay, so Jezebel despises your authority because she knows that your authority in God is above her. Okay, not to say that women are useless, nothing like that, but a man uh, on this earth has, is, has authority over the woman. Okay, just like Christ has authority over us men and God has authority over Christ and everyone else. Okay, that's order. That's what God order is. You don't get mad at the messenger. That's, get mad at God. That's how he instructed things. But these demons... Okay. that work to these people, they don't want to accept that. They don't want to accept to submit. Okay, they, they don't want to respect you. And best believe, if you hate, if you despise God's pastors, prophets, messengers, if you despise them, and you think that God, you know, you don't think that God's not going to despise you because the, we're, we're sent by God to do what we're doing. We're sent. We're not, we didn't just wake up and like, let me just do this. Let me just do that. Nah, God put it in our spirit. Okay, we're vessels are being used for honor. So God works through us to, to, to reach to you to get you to change, to get you to repent, but many people don't hearken to it. So, you know, they get led to sorrows. You reap what you sow in life. Okay, so that's a sign of an ungodly woman. She hates God's preacher. She tries to destroy them. Okay, number number five is she refuses to, to submit to her husband. Okay, let's check this out, guys. This is crazy. All right, this is a one chapter three, verse five to six. So it says, for after this manner in the old time, the holy woman also who trusted in God adorned themselves being subjection unto their own husbands. Check this out. Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters ye are, as long as you do well and are not afraid with any amazement. Okay, so the woman of old, the holy woman, because everyone calls himself holy, you know, especially the woman. They call themselves holy, set apart. They look so religious, right? But do they call their husbands the man of God, Lord? Okay. If you say, if, if a woman calls her husband, if a godly woman calls her husband, Lord, you know, she'll get stones casted by her by other sisters, okay, or quote unquote sisters in Christ. Okay. So we don't see that. We don't see the woman, the um, the, the wives calling their husbands, Lord, the, the, the wives calling the man of God, because um, let's make this very clear. Not every man is a man of God. So the man of God, we don't see the wives calling, you know, showing honor and respect to the husbands that he's Lord because he has dominion over them. Okay. Even if you look at, um, if you read the story of Lot, okay, Lot, would, uh, Lot's wife would have obtained salvation just by following her husband, just by following her husband, no matter what sin she was dealing with, all she had to do was follow her husband because her husband was being submitted to the Lord. He was following the truth and he was being obedient. So he was going to obtain salvation and he did, but her wife didn't want to give up the world. Her wife refused to submit. And because of that, she lost her life. She became a pillar of salt. Okay, she didn't gain. She didn't gain salvation. Okay, she's burning in hell because she refused to submit. That's why the Bible says the holy woman. Not every woman is holy. And they never, like I said all the time, a lot of people think they have the Holy Spirit. They believe that they're holy, but they're just religious. They have a religious spirit. They're deceived. Okay, I, I'm letting y'all know. I'm letting y'all know. Number six, she refuses to be a keeper at home. Okay, this is in. Uh, Titus chapter two, verse five. So it says that to be discreet, chase keepers at home. Okay, the godly woman. So let me finish this. Keepers at home, good, obedient to their husbands that the word of God be not blasphemy. Okay, so it's to be discreet, discreet, chase keepers at home, good, obedient to their husbands. Okay, so 
when a woman is out and about, think about it, guys. When Adam and Eve, okay, well, I'm, I'm dropping y'all wisdom. I hope you guys smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'm giving y'all, I'm giving, I'm giving y'all the wisdom, bro. Woo, let's go, okay? So when Adam and Eve, right? When when the devil did what he did to Eve, Adam wasn't there. She was out and about. Adam was working. He was doing whatever he was doing. Maybe he was just chilling. I don't know. But Adam wasn't there. Okay. So when a woman's out and about and she's not being a keeper at the home, the devil could work. That's it's nothing new under the sun. The devil could get to work through Eve because Adam's not there. So it's important for women to be keepers at home. Okay. If you have children, you know, guard your house, teach your children. Okay, show them the way, show them that your mistakes that you made and teach them because the Bible says train a child when they're young so when they grow older, they won't depart from it. So it's important for a woman to stay in the house. Okay, not saying that she can't go out and travel with her husband, not saying that she can't go out to the grocery store, not saying that, but I'm saying a woman should be not wanting to go out to the club on the weekends. You got to stay your behind home <laughs> because you're the cause. Saying, oh, when Satan sees a woman out and about, her husband's not there. Oh, man, Satan's going to try to tempt. But best believe, if you have the armor on, you're being obedient, you're protected by the angels. You have the fear of Yah in you, you're protected, so you don't have to worry. But it doesn't mean the devil won't try. Okay, Remember, resist the devil and he will flee from you. A lot of these women, the ungodly women, she don't resist. She gives in to the devil. She doesn't resist the devil. She gives in. Number seven, she loves sexual dancing. Okay, Matthew chapter 14, verse 6, so it says that, but, they, but when her uh, Harold's birthday was kept, the daughter was of probably saying this wrong, Herr Her Damas, if I'm saying that wrong, leave it in the comments, Herr Damas, I don't know how to say his name, danced before them and pleased Harold, okay? So when she was dancing, she wasn't doing the normal dance. Oh no, she was shaking her behind, she was twerking, she was doing a sexual dance. It wasn't the basic dance, nah, okay? And this type of woman took off the head of John the Baptist, okay? The ungodly woman slayed John the Baptist, and best believe, she was sexual dancing. So, and what do you see nowadays in the club? A woman shaking her behind. You know, a lot of women, like, especially on social media, they're always shaking their behind, uh, twerking. Like, what spirit is that? Like, to, like, for them to always, there has to be a spirit in them that causes them to do that. Okay, it's a spirit of a harlot. That's what it is. Okay, a spirit of a harlot. Shaking her behind. Always want, like, that's... That's not righteous, bro. Like, that's not godly to a woman to be shaking her behind full of all other men because you're causing them to lust. And yes, they're they're gonna be held accountable too, but you are too because you cause them to lust. Okay, it's not you, a lot of a lot of people blame the man all the time, but and yes, he will be held accountable. Don't get it wrong. But the woman who caused them to lust, she's gonna be held accountable too. Okay, number um number ten is or sorry, sorry number eight. She is loud and stubborn. Okay, she is loud and something. We see a lot of that. And see, when a woman's being disobedient, that's what comes with it. Chapter uh, Proverbs chapter 7, verse 11 to 12. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. Now she is without, now in the streets, and lie away at every corner. Okay, so she's loud and stubborn. She doesn't like to submit to her husband. She doesn't like to submit to authority in general. Not just her husband. She doesn't like to submit to authority. Okay, so she's loud and stubborn. Likes to talk back. When, you, when, you, when a man's talking, a woman's supposed to be silent and wait for her turn. Uh, the ungodly woman, she's gonna just kind of talk over him. She's gonna talk, 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 loud and stubborn. Okay, so that's that's one thing. You gotta, you brothers who hit me up all the time, you gotta watch out for that loud and stubborn. Okay, number nine is she loves to gossip. Okay, and um, number 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 nine, yeah, she loves to gossip. Okay, that's in oh yeah, let's read this verse. This is a good one to read. Okay, this is in one Timothy chapter five. Oh, check this out. This is deep. Chapter five, verse thirteen to fifteen. And with all, they learn to be a bile, uh, idle, sorry, learn to be idle, wandering about from house to house, not only idle, but uh, tattles, tattle tears, tattles, uh, and also in uh, busy bodies, speaking things which they not. So like to gossip, okay? Be, uh, not idle, um, sorry, they're idle, but they're busy bodies, okay? And they like to get a gossip, okay? I will therefore that the younger woman marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion for the enemy to speak reproachfully, for some already have turned aside after Satan. So women are going to choose Satan over Adam. Women are going to choose the devil over the man of God, okay? The so-called godly woman, which, like I said, guys, tests people's spirits, okay? Next one up is she's self-centered, and that's talking about in the book of uh, J uh, Judges chapter 16 with Delilah and Samson. She was self-centered. She came with hidden motives. Okay, number 11, she likes to entice with her eyes. This is a good one. This is in uh, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 24 to 26. To keep thee from an evil woman, from the flattery of a tongue of a strange woman, lust not after her beauty in her eyes, and neither let her take thee with her eyelids. For by the means of a warish woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread, and the adulteress will hunt for the priest of, uh, for 
for the precious life, okay? So she likes to entice with her eyes to lust you and lure you in with her eyelids. You notice how women have those eyelashes? You know, the Bible says don't, when a woman has all that type of stuff on, don't, don't lust her after her eyes because that's how she entices you. That's how she lures you in. So these are the 11 signs, 11 traits you can wash over for the ungodly woman, okay? Check this out if you haven't already. And I will be making a, tr um, a video pretty soon too on the ungodly man, things you can look for for all you um, sisters out there too. So I hope you guys watched this whole thing. I hope you guys got edified from it. If you haven't already, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, like the video, share this video on all social media platforms. I love you guys so much. This is Mark the Messenger. I'm out. Peace.